Today, I went into mountains to visit our tiniest friends, mosses. The plateau of Ebe sits on the south end of Japan's mainland. In early May, the mountain maples have prepared countless pink colored seeds with wings that are ready to fly away from the mother. The red pine trees are unique to the region. They grow up to 30 meters tall. Their trunks pick up a reddish brown color with a beautiful fracture pattern. Various white flowers are blooming quietly in the shades of the trees, and even mushrooms that never appear in the market. The herd of deer turn out to be easier to spot compared to the nimble birds who are whistling 30 meters above our heads. This is our style of the day, mosses. I'm sure you've seen mosses everywhere, on the side of stairs, on a piece of old log, on stones. But have you taken a closer look at them? Just like flowers and trees, there are different types of mosses which look different live in different habitats and are given different names by human. Mosses have very important roles in nature. They help to keep the humidity of a forest and provide homes for many creatures. This is my garden wall. There's lots of moss growing on it. I'm going to take some of it to make them into room decorations.
Thank you for watching this video. I now want to show you how I made a moss sphere. These are mosses I purchased from a plant store. They are grown by moss growers. Since mosses are vital for an ecosystem, we shouldn't just dig them out of a forest. First, pick a plant that loves moisture. I'm using a New Zealand bush plant called Wireheart. Take the plant out of the pot and squeeze the soil around the root into the shape of a ball. This is peat moss. It's commonly used for preserving water. Soak the peat moss into water until they become soft. Spread it around the ball of soil while fixing them with cotton thread. This layer of peat moss will provide water for the green moss for a longer time. In a similar way, surround the sphere with green moss and fix them using green colored cotton thread. In a hot and dry day, soak the moss ball into water for 10 minutes to keep them humid. On a rainy day, take them outside for a good shower.